This week on The Produce Nerd, we're going to take you behind the scenes of an almond holer, sheller, and processing facility. Once the almonds arrive at the facility from either just being harvested in the field or from the stockpiles, they are unloaded from the trailer and go through a pre-cleaning process. The pre-cleaner consists of three machines that the almonds pass through before entering the holing and shelling plant. The first machine is the de-sticker that separates out the large sticks. There are sand screens that shake out the fine soil and nuts, and bigger soil clumps pass down to the de-stoner. The second machine is the de-stoner that works off of positive air and vibration to separate the soil clods from the almonds. The third machine is the de-twigger, which removes the small twigs. After the pre-cleaning process, each load of almonds goes into a storage tank until they are ready to be ran through the holer. Each lot that is brought in on a trailer is tagged with grower and harvest information, and they can use that information to follow the almonds throughout the entire holing and processing operation. At the start of the process, the almonds pass through an initial machine to loosen the holes. After this initial process, for those that still contain the outer holes, they are sent to three separate machines where they are distributed evenly to continue the process of removing the holes. Throughout each step, if the holes have been removed, the kernels or in-shell nuts will be sent to the end of the line to the final cleaning step in bucket elevators. The nuts that still contain their holes are passed through additional machines with counter-rotating belts that work to remove the holes. As you can see here, this is an example of one of the counter-rotating belts. There are eight steps in total, and as the nuts progress, the machines work to remove the holes of the smaller and smaller nuts. At the very end of the process, the kernels are taken to the meat deck to further separate out the kernels from everything else, using screens and positive airflow. As you can see here, the holes and shells are separated, and then the kernels are sent to the bucket elevators to be bulk packed into bins. As the almonds are being packed into the bins, a random sample is taken of each lot for USDA grading purposes. This allows the grower to be fairly compensated and is reviewed by the USDA inspector each week during their visit to the facility. All grading is done in the quality control lab where there are workers and a machine that sort out 500 gram samples to check for size and for any foreign material or defects such as insect damage. After the kernels are finished with the holing and shelling portion, they are stored in a warehouse until they are brought into the processing plant. During this portion, the bins of almonds pass through three different optical sorters. The first two optical sorters are similar, and you can see every time they discard one of the kernels for not meeting the quality specifications, via the green lights that keep flashing. For the third optical sorter, the quality kernels continue on, while the kernels that do not meet customer specifications are blown to the back and go into making products such as almond flour and almond milk. The quality kernels are then transferred over on bucket elevators to be sorted by size. At this facility, there are eight different sizes that the nuts are separated into. After being sized, they drop into the corresponding bin. And 
once those bins are filled, a sampling probe is used to take a sample and the bins are closed and sealed in order to prepare for transport. The samples are then taken to the same quality control lab to do the final grading and sizing to determine how the nuts will be marketed and sold. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to theproducenerd.com where a new blog will be posted every Tuesday.